Hey Travis, this is Jessica and Kirsten from Peterson SEO. And today I'm just going to show you um, a quick video regarding your Johnson's welding. Um, it looks like you guys don't have a website up for them yet either. So um, just want to go over a couple quick things. <coughs> Excuse me. Does look like you have at least started to set up your Google My Business profile for Johnson's Welding. You are going to need to optimize that um, with your keywords, pictures, um, and get some five star reviews. Um, the reason why you popped up here, number one, is because I'm searching specifically in Crawford. Um, if I was just looking in the surrounding area, you would not have popped up um, because you really don't have anything on your Google My Business page. So um, you need to get that optimized with keywords. Um, so and also for your service areas, people that might be looking for you, um, as you can see, this one's in Gehring and Mitchell. So um, it's going to be important that you get that optimized and go after those citations, which again is your name of your business, your address, phone number and website and get those listed in a bunch of places like Facebook, Instagram, Yelp and Yellow Pages. Um, set up your socials, social profiles on Instagram and Facebook as well. Um, between your socials and your Google My Business, this is 30% of where people come to find your services and they're either going to come go right there and contact you, call or hit your website. Um, otherwise, the other 70% really comes from a website. So not having a website and not having this optimization, you're really having to rely on probably word of mouth um, and referrals. So you're missing out on a lot of potential new customers. So, um, when I did a search for organic organically for welders, I'm not sure what all you do for welding and what type of fabrications you do. Um, but for the search near Crawford, the crossroads welding is your top competitor. Um, they have an okay looking website. They've got some content. Um, and there's some content. They have a lot of keywords they're attempting to target, but they're pretty much irrelevant um, for what they're trying to do. Um, so when you build your website, you're going to need approximately 1,000 to 1,500 words on your homepage, depending on how many um, location-based um, keywords that you can get um, that you're trying to target, depending on how many services or, or um, types of fabrication that you do. Um, you should have different pages. Um, and work on your content and keyword strategy. Um, again, Google is going to index each of your pages based on, um, based on the keywords and the content that you have on your website. When we look at your number one competitor locally on AREFs, they're only ranked 1.3 out of a hundred. Um, 22 on their homepage, and that's all because their backlinks, all their backlinks are going to their homepage, which doesn't help them a whole lot. And most of these backlinks are spammy, bad backlinks. So you're going to need to go get more backlinks and better, higher quality backlinks. Um, they're using a lot of, attempted to use a lot of national keywords just to drive traffic to your web, to their website. But most of the traffic coming to their website are not actual customers. So if we take a look at their keywords, um, 
most of these are near me's, which you don't want um, because Google already knows what's near you. Um, and near me is a national. If you don't have a location, Nebraska or um, Crawford or some type of um, location attached to it, these are considered national keywords. So even if they have high search volume of 13,000, that's spread out throughout the, Uni the United States. So how much of that is going to go to a little town in Nebraska? I'm not sure. Um, so these type of keywords don't help. Um, and when you're using keywords just to get people to your, to your website, maybe informational, those don't generally turn into customers. So you want to make sure that the keywords you're using are relevant to the services that you're providing. Um, as far as backlinks go, a backlink is when one website links to your website and drives traffic to your website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. So the more relevant it is to your industry, to the services you provide, and the more authoritative it is, the more it's going to help you rank in Google. So it is important that you get those high quality backlinks and that you link them to your keywords on each of your pages. And if you build your website and follow these tips I've given you today, you will become number one, you could become number one across Google in your area. <clears throat> um, you're probably wondering, how, what do I do now? Well, you can either take this information I've provided and apply it yourself, which is completely okay because this is just an educational video. Um, however, if you would like help building that website and getting some of this stuff done, Go ahead and reach out to us or give us a call at the number on your screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.